All right. Uh, one of the uh, things we've prepared for today is uh, Jupyter Hub. So it is one of the ways you will be able to uh, run the examples, uh, all, the, all the code examples, all the exercises yourself. You can, of course, use your own computer, but you can also use this uh, shared resource. So the URL is datalab-hub.inm7.de. You should have received your uh, usernames in your emails. They're usually your first, usually but not always, they are your first names. So if you if you if you if you're going to use the Jupyter Hub and you don't uh, don't have the username, then please then please let us know. Uh, the password is whatever you use for the first access. So whatever you type for the first time will become your password to the hub for the next two days. So whatever you choose, make sure you save it. And let me give you a quick tour of the interface that we will be using. Uh, this is what you, what you will see the first time you log in. Uh, and there are basically two parts. One will be called launcher and the other will be a side panel and also a short menu on the top. Uh, so first of all, uh, there are some settings. You can adjust how things look, for example, by choosing between a light or dark theme. Here also in the settings theme, you have buttons like increase or decrease font size, and they are separately for code, for content, for UI, and for also terminal out here. I have increased mine, Ho I hope they are uh, they are visible on Zoom as well. Uh, and here you can also uh, change how things look. So you can, for example, slide the side panel to make it smaller or bigger. Uh, Jupyter Lab is something that has been made especially for notebooks. Uh, you may have heard of Jupyter Notebooks. These are environments to uh, combine code and uh, code and uh, markdown and outputs in one place. We won't be using notebooks today. We will be using instead uh, the Jupyter Lab for the terminal it provides. So here in the launcher, under in the other section, you have a terminal that opens a terminal uh, that is a regular Unix terminal, a regular bash. Uh, that runs on the on the server in the cloud, and you have your own uh, user account for the duration of the workshop. So, for example, I so the terminal works so in a way that uh, I type a command and I get response. For so, for example, who am I? Will print my username here. Uh, we will be using the terminal to run the data lot commands. Uh, many of these commands will create files and the files that are created will also be visible to you in this file browser here. So for now, I don't have many files, uh, but with time uh, they will be populated. I can make directories either from the terminal here and it, it appeared here, I can go into it by double clicking, I can go back, but I can also use these buttons here uh, that will create new folders like this. And I can also uh, create a new file. I can, can name it anything I want and I can open it with an editor. So here I'll get a editor tab where I can write things and I have the buttons file, save Python file. I can close things. I can open them from a launcher or I can open them by double clicking in the file browser window. So we will be looking at the file browser. We will be working mostly with the terminal. We will be using uh, using the built-in editor to edit files. You have some, some panes here that, uh, that show other uh, Jupyter things, but we'll mostly be looking at the file browser. And you can also uh, click on this button here to make the 
side panel appear or disappear. Uh, and I think that uh, that's the shortest possible tour of the interface we will be 